Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 157. It should say 157 and we are on page number 93. We are going to do the practice problem 157. In the event that you are interested in getting some more practice and getting better prepared for the exam, you will find that we have solved every single problem that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition. Which is right here, fifth edition. And if you are interested in doing these problems as well, you will find the solutions to all of these problems from day number 1 through 80. Day 1 through 80. Just type in T is day 1 to begin the process. Don't skip anything. Go day by day by day to make sure you do every single problem. The series ends at day 80 and the new series for 6th edition begins with day 101. There is nothing between 81 and 100. No, no videos exist for day 81 through 100. We started a new series from day 101. Let's begin. We're going to do the practice problems on 93. The very first problem looks something like this. We are being asked to find the area of the shaded region. And the shaded region looks something like this. We are given a square. How do we know it's a square? Because they are telling us that both sides are 4 inches. Both sides are 4 inches. Well, if both sides are 4 inches, this side must also be 4 inches and this side must also be 4 inches. And inside it, we are given a triangle that looks something like this. And we are told that this side, the base of the triangle is 2 inches and the height of the triangle is 2 inches. And the question is, what's the area of the shaded region? The shaded region being, shaded region being everything that falls outside. Oh no. That's the shaded region. Well, how do we do it? It's very simple. First find the area of the square. Once we have the entire area of the entire square, which is very easy, area of the square is simply area of the square is simply length times width. Area of the square is simply length times width. And the length and the width are the same in this in, in the case of a square because it's a square. All the sides are equal. So length times width is simply four inches by four inches. Four times four is sixteen and inches times inches is inches squared. So that part is done. And from that, all we have to do now is to figure out the area of the triangle. Just figure out the area of this triangle and subtract it from the area of the square. Area of the total complete square. And whatever is remaining must represent the red portion, the shaded region. Let's find out the area of the triangle. Area of a triangle, we, do, we already know that area of a triangle area of a triangle is simply one half base times height. We learned it. Make sure you watch this video in proper sequence because I do not have the luxury of repeating the same thing over and over again as I told you many times before. I assume, I take it for granted that you have watched the previous video. If you are watching day 157, I assume that you have watched all the previous videos, all the concepts that we learned before. I assume that you already understand them. And we learned before that the area of the triangle is one half base times height. Base here is two inches. And height also happens to be two inches. We have two at the bottom, we have two at the top. Let's divide top and bottom by two. This two is going to go away. And we end up with inches times inches, which is inches squared. And one times two is just two. So it's just two square inches. Two square inches. That's it, we're done. So the shaded region shaded region is simply the total square minus the triangle and the square we saw was 16 square inches minus the 2 ends up with 14 square inches. The area of the shaded region is 14 square inches. Do you understand? Let's do the next one shall we? Let's do the next one. This we are at 2.4 and now we have to do the perimeter 
we're being asked to figure out the perimeter of the second figure. We need the room obviously, we need to raise everything. given a picture that looks something like this we are told that this side is 12 cm we are told that this side is 5 cm we are told that this side is 3 cm this side from here to here is 4 cm we are not given the value of this side and we are not given the value of this side. How do we go about figuring out the value of the parameter if we have missing sides? How is that possible? Well, it's very simple. It's very simple indeed because we learned it before in the previous video. I don't know which day but we have done it before. There are two ways we can go about it. There are two ways we can go about it. One way is this. is to simply understand that if you were to extend this thing I shouldn't have gone that far. If you were to extend this thing it becomes a rectangle and what we need to understand is that this length from here to here this length right here this length here whatever it happens to be this length plus this length right here of course head up to, has to add up to 12 and similarly similarly what we need to understand is that this length of this side and the length of this side has to add up to 5 so the area of this rectangle Area of this of the bottom is a say, rectangle. It's not a rectangle because there's a missing there's a missing chunk here. But the area of this picture is nothing more than what we have always seen, which is it is simply two times length and width. Two times the sum of the length and width. We have five inches here. This is three inches, which means this side must be two inches. Two plus three is five, so it's two times five. Five inches here, five inches. Those two add up to five inches. Twelve inches here, and this red portion and that right portion add up to twelve inches. If this is four, that must be eight. But we don't have to do that out. So it's 2 times length plus width. 2 times length. Length is 12 inches. Width is 5 inches. So it's simply 2 times 17. 2 times 17 is 34. 34 what? What's the unit? 34 inches. 34 inches. Another way we could have done it is actually to do it out. Like they expect you to do it. Which is to do it out. If you like we can do that too. We can do that too if you like. So if this is 3. If from here to here is 3 and this is 5, then this missing side must be 2. It's not going to give us anything different, you understand? Oh, it's 2 cm. It's, it's 2 cm. The units are centimeter, not inches. Not that it matters, but it's 34 cm. And similarly, if from here to here is 4 cm and the entire length is 12 cm, this missing side must be 8 cm. And now add them all up. And what do you suppose we will get when we add them all up? When we add them all up, we'll get 34. Let's do it, shall we? Let's begin with here. Let's begin with here. So we go, we're going to go clockwise. So we're going to go clockwise so we don't miss anything. Starting from here. 8. Then 2. Then 4. Then 3. Then 12. And then 5. We are back to where we started. So we are done. Let's add them up, shall we? Here we go. 8 plus 2 is 10. I see 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 10. 3 plus 2 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. And then there's another 10. That's 20. And a 4. So it's 24. 4. 32. And 2 plus 1 is going to be 3. Of course, the same as before. It's not going to change anything. That was a waste of time. That was absolutely unnecessary. It's absolutely unnecessary. It particularly, it becomes even more important to understand this concept if the picture is a little bit more complicated. Instead of take, leaving out one chunk, what if what if they had left out two chunks? For example, let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at this one. If you understand the concept, finding out the perimeter of something very something that may look very intimidating, it's not actually. Here's another one. We are told the distance from here to here is 12. 12 meters, 12 meters, and distance from here to here is 10 meters. And then here, some of this chunk they will give, give you and some of them will be missing. Instead of wasting your time to, to calculate the missing chunks and then adding up all the different chunks here, 
which is a sheer waste of time. What you need to understand again is this. What we need to understand is this. The vertical distance, let's do the vertical distance. This distance from here to here, and then 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 from here to here, from here, to here has to be 12. Similarly, the horizontal distances have to add up to 10. Horizontal distances, this chunk right here, 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 they all have to add up to 10. 10 plus 12 is 22, so we have 12 here and 12 there, so it's 10 plus 12 is 22, so, so the perimeter is 44, 44 meters, there we go. Again, 12 plus 10 is 22, and we have two lengths and two widths, so 22 times 2 is 44. That's what it is, it should take no more than 3 seconds. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.